The PV loop is a neat diagram to help you understand how the heart works. On the y-axis is pressure, and on the x-axis is volume. This is exactly the same graph used to determine the efficiency of steam engines. You can think of your heart like an engine that converts ATP energy into the work needed to push your blood through your circulatory system. We're going to be focusing on the left ventricle only, although the PV loop occurs in the right ventricle as well. Let's recall the anatomy of the heart. Here's the ventricle. First, blood enters through the mitral valve into the left ventricle. Blood is then pumped through the aortic valve into the aorta. So what's going on here? The PV loop runs in a counterclockwise direction. On the top, there is the systolic phase of the heartbeat. On the bottom, there is the diastolic phase. This is really easy to remember because just like the normal blood pressure of 120 over 80, there is systole over diastole. Also, the systole phase is when the ventricle is contracting, so it's going to have the highest pressure. The area in the graph indicates the work done by the heart or the stroke volume. Now, let's label the segments. Starting from one, the mitral valve opens to allow diastolic filling you can see volume is increasing. From point two, the mitral valve closes, producing the S1 lub heart sound, and isovolumetric contraction occurs from two to three. You can see volume doesn't change, isovolumetric, and that the pressure is rising. Once you have enough pressure to overcome the blood pressure in the aorta, the aortic valve opens at point three, and there is systolic ejection from three to four. Finally, at point four, the aortic valve snaps shut, producing the S2 dub heart sound, and isovolumetric relaxation occurs from four to one. You can see volume doesn't change, isovolumetric, in that the pressure is falling. So I mentioned heart sounds. Let's do a quick review of that. When the heart beats, it makes a sound like lub dub, lub dub, lub dub. These are known as the S1 lub and the S2 dub sounds. If you notice, the lub dub sound has a short pause between the S1 and the S2, lub dub, and a long pause before the next heartbeat, lub dub, lub dub. This corresponds on the graph. S1 is here, and S2 is here. S1 to S2 happens very quickly. The ventricle contracts and pushes blood out. Then S2 to the next S1 happens a little less quickly. This allows time for diastolic filling to occur, the longest phase of the heartbeat. How are you going to remember the heart sounds? Another way to say heart sounds is myocardial acoustics. S1, M, mitral valve snaps shut. S2, A, aortic valve snaps shut. Myocardial acoustics. Easy, right? Okay, that's it for all the information. Let's clear the board and try a practice question. Upon physical examination of a patient, you discover that they have a diastolic murmur. At what point on the graph does the affected valve open? One, two, three, or four. If you can answer this from memory, great, but you should be able to think it through as well. First, divide the graph into systole, high pressure ventricular contraction, and diastole, low pressure filling. Great. Now if there is a diastolic murmur, we have just eliminated two possible answers, leaving us with one or two. From one to two, we can see volume is increasing in the ventricle. That means blood has to be coming in from somewhere, probably the left atrium, and when the blood leaves the left atrium, it passes through the mitral valve. So during this phase, the mitral valve must be open. The answer must be that the mitral valve opens at point one to allow diastolic filling. That's it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos.